You're good. Come on. You're on. Pick up your mic. Check it out. Look a little cool. Testing one, two. Are we live? Yes, we are. <laughs> hey, everyone. We're just goofing off here at the gathering today. After like all the hard work is done, this feels like, whew, right, right. Yeah. Okay. So we are in the middle of teaching our barn class here, our quilt barn sign. So we have some lovely people over there hand painting, hand painting their barn sign. So we, we're going to take a little peek over there to show you what they're doing because we let them pick whatever one they wanted to do and they're, they're doing an awesome job. Cool. All right, we do have one prize we're going to give away today and that is this guy, right? This one? Sure. This one. This one. So I made these yesterday with my class. These are little thread hearts. These are for your sewing room or wherever or to give as a friend. They have a little hanger on the back. They're adorable. This one is naked spools. So see how no thread on these spools? I didn't notice that. Naked. Naked. Okay, you hold this one. And then this one has closed thread and sometimes not so we didn't care what we used whatever we had and it was so fun yesterday because some of the ladies brought their own great great grandma's threads and stuff like that so this one see the difference between this one and that one this one i kind of used all the same threads that were like the same height and this one anything went how fun is that like this 39 cents Th some of them are 15 cents Ooh. and yeah so see how they're different sizes okay and they're real wood yeah all right so we're not going to sell a lot of stuff here today we're just we're just going to talk about what's going on this week what's coming up what to look forward to because we have 20 percent off of everything in the store but but there's always you always say everything but However, however, I'll let you know what they are. Um, sewing machines, mm -hmm. letters for Santa bundles, meet me in the garden, anything to do with meet me in the garden, creative grid rulers, those things can never be on sale, right. uh, thread kits, right. and oh say can you sew bundles. One, because there's not that many left, we don't have a lot of that left, and we don't want to, um, you know, they're just not on sale. We don't have a lot left. I think they were on sale some other time. Or they're on special, that's why. They already have a built-in deal. They're like 12 fat quarters for the price of 10. So that's why those are not on sale. But anything else, kits, all on sale, wool, cotton, anything else is on sale. 20% off in-store and on our website. So that's awesome. Get so on you, there and buy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get on there and buy some goodies right. and... and um, Enjoy that anniversary sale for 19 years in business. And one year here. And one year here, 19.1. That's what that was all about. So this week, so I showed you what I did. We're going to um, we're gonna go over there and visit them painting their barn signs. And we did the thread spool heart plaques. I guess that would be a plaque, right? Yeah. Picture, plaque. We did those yesterday. And tell us what you did on Monday. We made these adorable wool flowers yeah and I mean the girls got done and they went we're done already <laughs> it was pretty fast was and pretty I said that's why it's called a make it and take it yeah we can do it quickly not a lot of uh, the barn painting however is pretty intense. it can be pretty intense because yeah. this is what I said I said pick the the style that uh, matches your ability <laughs> well that's good <laughs> right don't good be picking that real picky tiny stuff if you in don't words, think if you're not an artist yeah pick or if you're, yeah if you don't have the most patience yeah. in the world pick the big clunky squares and stuff like that all right so these are super cool and we were like experimenting with some of tyler's tie-dye tie -dye stuff so we were having some fun with this and then like i want to do a matching flower to my Je tyler jean jacket and sew it permanently on my jean jacket mm -hmm. so that's going to be cool so just a couple other ideas yep. and then i made this in gloria's make and take you did fabulous, by I the did. way. I know. I came in there and I did whoop, whoop, and it was done like in a matter this of like 15 minutes. This is called an ort jar. A what? An ort jar. Ort. 
Okay. Remember what that is? No. Old raggedy thread. Oh. O-R-T. So that's where you throw your little thread catcher yeah, to? Yeah, it originated from cross stitchers. Oh, okay. You know how we clip all of our I'm clippings? Gonna, I'm going to stain mine up a little bit. Yep. Water down some paint and stain it up. Yep. And you can use it for the needle punch, for your wool. It's a glass jar. You can put a succulent in there too? Yeah. Just and the little battery candle. operated yeah. lights are really pretty in here. Oh, and votive candle, yeah. Yes. Yeah. But All right, and then this we, one too, they did quick. Yeah, and then we only have one thing tomorrow, which is my little tote bag here that totes my Bible around. Adorable. Yeah, it is. So, Out of your we flannels. are going to do little videos on all of our make and takes, and then you will be able to order little kits for them as well. So, but give us, you know, a week or two to get those done. I know it's not fast enough. I know, I know, right? It's never going to be fast it enough. Yesterday, but we promise we will we will get those done. Yeah. We can do everything. I think I don't know how many of these I could make, so I think everything but the barn signs and the thread kits. But the totes, the can't. Oh, we can't do these either. Can we do these? Can we do I, have a, these? I have some jars left. Okay. Well, well we can, can send some jar. kits for those. I'll show them how to do it. Yeah, it was easy. Yeah. It was so easy. And then these. So. Um, or we can do like the bases for these and and you just have to get your own paints and stuff like that so yeah, I'll, I'll show we probably can figure out that. we could probably do the boards for you and the bases for these if you have your own threads that you want to do that with or start collecting them all right go to the antique stores find yeah. the jars full of thread uh thread threads thread spools it's a mission okay yeah it so is we can, we can send them this too yep yep so, and it can go on any little jar, right? Any jar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I've seen a lot of little, like little canning jars or little jelly yes. jars. Yes. That's what we used. So nothing. The yogurt jars that yeah. we eat yogurt out of, they're great. Okay. All right. So that is our anniversary sale. How That's, long does it go? It goes until Sunday, but we are only doing make and takes until Friday. So Saturday and Sunday here, we won't have lunch for everybody we had lunch all week for everybody if they wanted to eat lunch with us and we had sit and sew but that's only through friday and then we still you can go shop in the store saturday and sunday and they can shop on the website until midnight on sunday 11 59 not midnight only 11 59 okay i'm gonna set my alarm <laughs> <laughs> make sure you did it yeah. all right so that is our anniversary sale recap do you want, do you want to finish talking here before we go visit them? Okay. All right. So you have something really exciting we want to talk about, I right? I do. All right. When I came here, Lisa asked me if I would start a featherweight club. And I said, sure, because I did it in Florida. And I brought my featherweight with me, and she happens to own several of them. I'm being really good, though. I'm selling them. She I'm is. I'm keeping one and selling the five. Yes, she is. So what I did was, is I went uh, and contacted the Featherweight shop, and they're online, and I ordered this particular maintenance manual. And we're going to have a maintenance class on September the 18th, and it's on a Sunday from 12.30 to 5.30. And we're gonna go through, everyone is going to work on their own machine, and we're gonna show them how to clean it, lube it, oil it, and this book is going to be their Bible. It is fabulous. Do we have this on our website? Yes. Okay. It's a flyer. Yeah. Okay. No, I mean that book. Can they order that book? No. Okay. Um, mainly because we're ordering it for our classmates. But if you do want this book and you're not able to come to this class, if you go to the uh, featherweightshop.com, he has everything you need for a featherweight. This. It's a great small business, he's wonderful, and he was going to come out here with us, but he's too far away, and he told me I could do this, and I went, okay. <laughs> so, this book, he took, I think he told me, two years to write this book, and it's a fabulous training. It sets like up on a tee, and when we start, we start at the front of the book, and we'll go page by page, and all the way through the book, we're going to actually do the class. Then when you're done with the book, you turn it around and you go back this way. So this book will show you and teach you everything you need to know about your featherweight, from taking it apart to putting it back together. 
They even have a course in here on how to repair your case. If it's all torn up, how to fix it, which we will not be going over, but it's in here. And then we're going to have- those cases sometimes are Woo! a little moldy, a little stinky, a little yeah. beat up. Well, and they even have de-stinkers. De-stinkers? If there is such a thing. And they show you how to repair the back, how to put on a new handle, how to fix the hinges. I mean, this guy has got it all together. It's family run, just like you. Mm -hmm. So we want to support him. He's a very nice man. Cool. And um, then the club, uh, when we all get together, we're going to decide. We're going to meet once a month. And Judy Brown, who is a wonderful customer here, who loves featherweights, she is going to be the facilitator and keep everybody going on sewing on their featherweights. Cool. So, and we'll so have more of that Because we, we love these featherweights, and we think it's a shame that they – they don't come out, right? So we want to have mm -hmm. a specific club where you only can get in the doors if you're sewing on your featherweight and and letting it be used and giving it a workout yeah. and because that's when it's going to be happy being used, not just sitting in its case. And Scotty makes these wonderful tables that fold yes. up and can come to class too as well. Mm -hmm. So we'll be having those for uh, sale as well. Yes, they're awesome. They're uh it's not a table that goes on a table. It is a real. It's a table. It's a wood, solid table. wood yeah. table. Yes. But and it, and it, the top comes off. The the legs fold in, and it can all folds flat. So no matter where you're going, you can bring that table with you. Now here's the most awesome part. What? This book has. Tell me what those things are called. QR codes. The QR codes. I was showing this to my husband today, who is clueless. Right clueless when it comes to this. And I said, oh, honey, they have QR codes. And he goes, uh, what is that? So I hold said, it still. She's going to zoom in on it. This one right here shows you how to assemble or disassemble whatever they're talking about on this page. So you take your camera. You put your camera right there. Up pops this little code. You touch it. And boom, right there is his video on how to do this. So, he is so awesome. Yeah, it's brilliant. It yeah, kind of I took my job I away. I told you this this morning, but I always wanted to do that at the quilt show. Like when we had a pattern, put a QR code on it. So, you know, maybe you blew your money for the day, right? But you still found this really cool pattern that you wanted. So you could just click on that and then put that in the cart and buy it at a later date. So it's kind of like You're Andy Dandy smart. Money. Yeah, I know, but we haven't done it yet. But I know, but it's still cool. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we, we can only have 30 people in the class. Mm -hmm. And the, only, and the reason why is because uh, it, it's taken a while to go around and help everybody. Mm -hmm. But there, uh, we do have a registration form, and on the back of the registration form is other supplies that you'll have to bring with you. Because mm -hmm. this is a messy job. And uh, we'll all be like rubber gloving it. Mm -hmm. And for a while we have to wear a face mask because we're working with the inside of the machine. Oh. And, um, and then we'll all work on them together. And, you'll go home with a nice clean machine. Cool. And then you can also go online and get you a, a kit to polish it and make it look super duper good. All right, so if you have any questions, make sure you're leaving comments because somebody's picking a winner for our thread plaques. So and it needs to be the featherweight winner here. <laughs> <laughs> don't you think? I don't know. Give away a featherweight? Well, no. <laughs> Give away one of yours, not oh, mine. Yeah. Oh, how many do you have? I have one. You have one. Right. Yeah. I have one too. I kept one. The one that was painted, uh, what is it called? Pearl white. I yes. kept one that was painted pearl white. On so. his website, he has a page where oh. he's sold all of the ones he's painted, oh. like pink grapefruit, Mai Tai. Cool. You got to look at them. They're great. Awesome. All right. So that is it for then the featherweight. Yeah. We covered everything. We're done. All right. Perfect. All right. So just a couple more other things before we go on a little field trip over to see the painting that's being done. But, um, Thank you to everybody who has filled up our Sue Spargo classes. We have two full weeks with 50 people on a waiting list, so please don't even bother. Try getting on the waiting list. We have enough people on that waiting list, but we will secure Sue for 24 as well. So we will probably do a more, um, uh, say like, we'll post her class openings like at you know noon on such and such a day. So you all have the opportunity to to jump on there and get in the class. But we realize that it's hard to do that. So 
If you got in, you lucky dogs, you got in. But we have some other things coming up. So write this down. We have Jen Kingwell coming July 31st through August 5th of 2023. And that, we are working on our classes right now, so we're not ready to take signups, but those are the dates. So check out to see if you're available. Don't go on summer vacation that week. So you have almost a year ahead to plan that. Yeah, we love us some Jen Kingwell dearly. So we can't wait. We, we could have, she's like, I'll do a class every day or I'll do, you know what I mean? So we'll have plenty of classes when she's here. It's almost a week, I think six days that looks like to me. So mark your calendars and watch our social media and our websites when we are gonna post that. So that's something to look forward to for 23. We still have just a few openings in Linda Hershka's, one opening? One, <laughs> one opening in Linda Hershka's uh, machine quilting class. So that is um, $370 for her class, plus lodging if you wanna stay here. So there is one opening, one of you lucky dogs is gonna get that baby. That is November 4th and November 5th. So it's a two day class, includes a bunch of stuff. So um, if you're not staying here, it's $400. So we minus the meals that are already included in lodging if you do stay here. So one more spot left in Miss Hershka's class so that is going to be awesome as well so then we also have on september 12th through the 16th we have witches retreat that's this september coming up and we will do a quilt and a wool project for that event we do not have them done right now it's always kind of a surprise but bring your other stuff to sew on too just in case you hate everything i make yeah right <laughs> so far it's been pretty good nobody's really uh, yeah, just and so then you, we have. Just so you know, <laughs> yeah, people ask me before your cruises, "What are you going to do?" Mm -hmm. And I go, "Why do you care? You like her, don't you like everything she does?" And they go, "Yeah." And I went, "I rest my case." Yeah, <laughs> it's not always about the project, right? No, it's sometimes about it's about being bigger, with us. Yeah, being here, right. being with others, just giving yourself that time to relax and enjoy creating and hanging out with like-minded people is priceless. The the projects are a bonus, right? Correct. Yeah. So so then All Things Pumpkin is Saturday, September 17th, and then a month later, Monday, October 17th as well. So we have two, those are just one days from four, 9 to 4.30, and Saturday and a Monday. Almost full. Okay, she said the Saturday in September is almost full, and then you opened up the October 17th, yes. so that one is probably not as full, because we just opened that one up, I guess. Okay, so get a hold of the girls here at the gathering and their phone number is 920-778-8031 or the gathering at primitivegatherings.us send them an email if you can't talk on the phone for some reason so those are some fall things that we have coming up come join us we'll we'll have some fun yes jessica we'll be in madison yeah so okay we know we're going to be in madison Let as well go to the flip side What's that? Look, she wants you to let them know they're going, that you're going to the quilt show. Oh, yeah, so there's a big question out there if we're gonna go to the quilt show. So I believe it's the 8th through the 10th. We will be in Madison, Wisconsin at our first quilt show since COVID. I can't wait. So come see us. We have like, think five total booths. We will have the long arm stuff with us as well. So come see us if you can make the it's the um, Nancy's Notions WPS quilt show at the Alliant Energy Center in Madison, Wisconsin in September, 8th through the 10th. Okay? We will be there. We're going to have some fun. I'll be there on Thursday. I don't know about the rest of the time. <laughs> You're going to be home sewing. Yeah, I know. I got to sew my, I got to get ready for that cruise and all that kind of stuff. Because we're going to. Yeah. Hawaii! Hawaii. <laughs> Finally! I think we paid our deposits in 2018 for this. No, eight. What? 2008 is what it seems like. 
I well, swear, still, four I been years ago, on it for four, four years. years, four years, oh we're finally going to go. So we are super excited about that. We have over 50 quilters and we have 72 people, 72 people going on this cruise. So we we're going to go from Vancouver, British Columbia, and we're going to sail all the way to the Hawaiian Islands. We're going to island hop for a couple days. I know you hate me, right? Uh, island hop for a couple days and then we're gonna, still leaving. Okay, and the then we're gonna stay, leaving. we're gonna stay a couple days uh, afterwards and then fly home. Yep. So. Are you sure you don't need to live stream any of this? Yeah, yeah, right. We're staying at the Holly you gotta, you Yeah, and that's something that nobody can just, civilians can't really stay at, right? No. You have to know a military person, Jack. We're using Thank Jack. You Jack. Thanks, Jack. <laughs> Jack served how many years in 20. the 20 years in the Navy, right? So we can stay at the Halicoa. <laughs> yes, that's the only reason. Yeah. That was a long 20 years for a hotel room, let me tell you. Yeah. <laughs> so worth it. All right. So before we go over, who is the winner of the thread plaque? Patrice Weisner. Patrice? Weisner, you yeah, are the trees. winner! Yay! I did this myself. I glued those all on Lisa, by myself. I think you should sign the back. All right, I'll sign it too. I'll get her to sign. It. Yeah, I'll sign it. We'll have to find a silver sharpie or something. Uh oh. Okay. Shoddy job, <laughs> That's probably one I missed. <laughs> we'll fix that. Not a problem. Yeah, it's the hardest thing is when you put the thing on the backside. That's when you realize if you missed one or not. Yeah, they fall yeah. off. Yeah. So I don't know what that happened to that one, but yeah. Oh, one more. Yep, no glue. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard not to. Yeah, no glue on that one. Or it was just something. Oh, yeah, it fell no. off that. But see, you can kind of tell. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We just made them yesterday. All right. They're Amish. What does there's that mean? There's always something wrong. Or oh! Just something. You <laughs> what do you mean? Like, there's always Amish a boo-boo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No. Here, when that's hanging on the wall, it won't fall off. No. <laughs> All right, let's go see Bye. the sign painting. All right. Thanks, Gloria, for joining us. All right, we're going this way. Coming this way. I mean, the phone rang. Musical chairs? Yeah. We're on live. Say hi to the world. Are you, like, videoing now, or are you, yeah, like, okay. All right. All right, so we're kind of going to stay here and we're going to ask you to kind of hold them up as we go. Do we have some, um, some scaredy cats here? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, John, show us what you're making. Right, so you're going to, so what's your next color? Um, maroon. And why are you doing maroon and gold? Because I'm a 49er fan. Boo hiss, boo hiss. Ooh. We're, we're In Green Wisconsin. Bay Packer fans. There you go. Yeah, all right. It's okay, it's okay. We love us California too. All right, you can just stay there. All right. I like it. Leanne. Cute. So just so you know, I have a quilt pattern coming out like this. One big, huge star. It's called Autumn Star, but you did uh, blue and burgundy and gold and green. Very cool. There, there's a sample. And my sister, Lisa, over here, she's the one that is teaching them how to paint. I teach them how to draw. She teaches them how to paint. She's the picky painter. All right. What's your name? Elaine. Elaine. Look at those lovely lake house colors. There you go. All right. So we use tape to tape off. And now you're doing borders on here? What yes. are you doing? Yes. Okay. Do you have to, like... I have to. Cut those off mm -hmm. with the little exacto knives or the things. Yes, beautiful, beautiful colors. Thanks. Was it fun? Yes. It was a blast. Yeah. Okay, Lori, show us what you got. Beautiful. Beautiful. What was your favorite part? All of it. All of it. Good answer. Just, lear just learning. <laughs> Good answer. Process. All right, I'm going to go around to the other side. Thank you guys for being such troopers. How you doing, Pat? Doing. All right. <laughs> Peggy. I love it when they wear name tags. <laughs> All right. You can't really tell, but there's a nine patch in this star, right? Yep. So she's letting it dry. How do we make it dry faster? We use blow dryers. We use blow dryers. Yeah, <laughs> that's the trick. And I saw one, somebody painting and blow drying all at the same time. <laughs> so how long do you got to wait to tear that off? 
Um, it, I'm going to put two more coats on it. Okay. And then I'm going to take it off. All right. Okay. I won't make you rip it off like a Band-Aid. How are you? I'm good. How are you? All right. Good. 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 All right. What are we doing here? It's a hot mess and a handbag. Oh, but you're having fun, right? That's yeah. all that matters. Yeah. So just so you know, this is pretty precise and pretty persnickety, right? Yes, it so is very if much you, so. So if you would struggle with that, it might be just a good idea to buy them. <laughs> <laughs> Right? Sometimes it's just worth it to buy it already done. But I love color, it. Color right? within the lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But hey, you guys are having fun and that's all that matters. And mm -hmm. you find out if you want to make a, a business out of it, right? We'll come here. <laughs> yeah, you'll come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So it, aren't they awesome? So we're having uh, so much fun doing all the make and takes here. I'm getting ready over there to make some kits for tomorrow's class. So that's it for our anniversary week here at Primitive Gatherings. Thanks for joining in. Thanks for shopping. Buy a whole bunch of stuff because I don't think we're going to have a sale for a while now. We had a bunch of sales this month in July and whatever. So make sure you get all your purchases in and take advantage of that 20% off. All right. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you next week for Meet Me in the Garden stuff. We're going to go over a bunch of stuff with Meet Me in the Garden, and that will be fun. We'll have to get Val on, too, so hopefully she's available. I didn't tell her yet. So. <laughs> All right. Take care, everyone.